How you doing? Good. How's your summer? It was good, just a week off. Yeah. A week. Yeah. What excites you about this team? Um, the experience. I think that's the biggest thing that excites me. Um, I'd probably say just uh, the mesh we have in the locker room. I've never met it, or seen, been on a team that's as close as we are right now. I think that's going to carry over. You know, it's carrying over the first day of fall camp. It's just how how we keep each other in check more. How basically, you know, there's not any time to say, "Hey, run." It's because we expect each expect that of each other. And then when that doesn't happen, uh, we call each other on it. And I think it's not it's not like when someone calls at you out on something that you don't. You know, a lot of people get defensive and stuff. And there's not there's none of that just because you know it's coming from a good place. So I feel like those two things and just you know just the talent we have. Man. It's just, it's insane, you know. Talking to guys like Dallas Warmack, Juwan Johnson, like just comparing talent levels, and I've, it's, he says it's pretty comparable, so that's really cool to get. To Alabama? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, with five returning starters, yeah. like six seniors along the offensive line, mm -hmm. Mario talks a lot about competition everywhere. For sure. Um, how do you guys manufacture it when the entire offensive line, besides Penn are basically four year starters? Yeah. Uh, you know, we got to look at our secondary guys like Alex Forsyth, guys like, you know, Dawson Jamarillo, guys like Solid that are really coming in. Uh, just recruiting really good guys, you know. I mean, bringing them in to, to push us and make us even better. Because, you know, it's not like, you know, I wouldn't want to say we wouldn't lose our spot, but at the same time, just, just having that, that person back of your mind that's always grinding. Like Alex Forsyth is the hardest person, worker I know, the guy who's going to be a really good offensive lineman here. And you know he's my he's my backup, you know, what organ on an organizational chart. But at the same time, like he pushes me every single day, and just seeing each other's success and stuff, you know, it's just it's really cool. So yeah, just Alex Forsyth, his success has, put, has pushed me in the past. So, yeah. You're when you signed up to, to sign here for Oregon as a high school recruit, um, the school was playing for conference championships yep. in the playoff discussion. You're a redshirt freshman year. I think you guys were picked to win the North that year. Yep. Since then, it's been different. For sure. How much does this senior year feel like this is our chance? We have so many guys back you know, to restore Oregon where it was when we yeah. showed up. Yeah, that's that's the biggest thing. Ever since my retro freshman year, the four and eight season, I've always you know me and the, a couple of the other older guys really just talked about leaving it better than you found it. You know what I mean? So we, we went to a national championship my senior year of high school, and just it's been it's been a grind getting back to you know prevalence again. You know what I mean? So we had the the Taggart year and we had last year which was an okay year but still not like up to Oregon standards you know what I mean so just I think it's just getting back into like the culture and um, got, bringing in guys from all you know the, the alumni that really sure. just talk about like Keenan Lowe came and talked to us and it's just like you know the biggest thing I took away from Keenan Lowe talking to us is like you don't know where to go unless you know where you're from so I think a lot of the times where uh, the younger guys coming in really don't understand what Oregon football really is and uh, we were lucky to have to have Coach Greatwood, guys like that who are here for 20 plus years. So they really taught us, you know, what Oregon football really is and what it means to wear the O in your chest. So uh, I think just instituting that philosophy of how much the Oregon O means, playing for the University of Oregon means to people, and then um, yeah, just playing up to standards. What what the alumni really just giving it back to the alumni and just kind of leaving a legacy. So in five years, just so I can come back with my kids, you know, and come back and show them. And, Hopefully they're successful again. Yeah. When, when did Keenan Lowe come by? Uh, that was about a month ago. Yeah, that was good. That was a really cool experience. Because yeah. he obviously talked a lot about the, the shooting and all that. So, But he also talked about you know what it was like. And uh, the biggest thing I think I took from that too, from what he said, was uh, he basically said when he was going into the natty, all the seniors went into a room and he said, you know, what can you give up in order to get to a national championship? Will you stop drinking? Will you stop playing so much video games? Will you kind of, you know, stop talking to girls for a little bit? Just what can you give up in order to, to make it to the big show? So I think that was the, kind of a big sentiment that, that kind of set, put it all on us. A lot of guys do yeah, that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. How you, was that like afterwards you noticed that, or did you see it like in, in the way the guys were handling themselves? Like probably after, 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 because it's been kind of brought up a couple times. Off season workouts, just like we're running, we're grinding. It's hard, and someone will say something like Kinolo said, and it kind of just that's a really big thing. So, yeah. As an athlete, what are your thoughts on 9 a.m. start times? I personally, you can put the ball wherever, man. I don't care about that kind of stuff. I mean. Put the ball at 5 a.m. and I'll play. So I'll, I'll find a way to get up. I'm sure Chris will find a way to get up too. So. <laughs> yeah, is, it, is it worse than coming home from like, you have to go to ASU this yep. year? That game probably is going to be a night game. Yeah. You know, getting home at 2 or 3, 4 o'clock in the morning? or It's getting... happened before. You know what I mean? It's happened before. We'll find a way because we got a good staff that'll find a way to 
uh, make, make sure we recover well. You know, honestly, I probably don't want to do that, but you know, if it happens, it happens. We'll find a way around it. So, yeah.